Okay, guys, listen up. It's the burr bird. The burr bird. Listen to what he's saying there. Quack, burr, quack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's get this going here. This is the public service announcement portion. Yes, okay. it is. We're, um, we've removed one of the films. We'll show you in a minute how to do that the right way. Guys, if you have access to a Frankie, I highly recommend her doing this for you. Um, I have a tendency to put them on not so straight. And you want to get it right, too, because this adhesive is very sticky. Super sticky. Mm-hmm. Okay. They tend to, um, are they sized perfectly? They seem to be like a little, a touch larger than the blank. Yeah, there's yeah. there's a... Which is fine. It yeah, works fine. a little bit. So one done. Let's put that one back in the case. Okay. There's two sleeves in these, of course, guys. You put one, you put the blank in the back sleeve. Uh-huh. All right, that's done. Frankie, we got the nine and the three done, okay? Yes. Oh, wait, no, we skipped the six. Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay. So we'll set that one aside. It's still got some oil on there. Let's just go ahead and wipe that off for the heck of it. All right, this blank is done. We've done eight or nine, eight or nine knives with it, okay? And actually, you can see, see the wear a little bit right there? Yeah, the wear stripe? Little spots. It's losing its abrasive material, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you could keep going with it, but it might not be giving you the best uh, performance. Right. All right. No. Don't use that. No, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Here we go. Okay. This is the best method. Is this interesting to you guys? It seems like it would be. You could probably go closer. Mm. Go for a little longer. Let's just see if it Test works. Test it. Okay, sure. When I tried without heat, it was a disaster. Disaster. Mm-hmm. Then again, I suck. Anybody want me to sharpen your knife? <laughs> <laughs> but like you said, you need a Frankie. Yeah. If you do not have a Frankie available. And the bear bird supervising. You might be screwed. <laughs> How's it going there? It's coming up. Yeah, this is a clean blank. So oh, adding, adding that little bit of heat helps quite a bit. Yeah. I didn't get it on film, guys. But when I did the 9, it was a disaster. And then there we go. You could have probably put a little bit more heat on it, but it is really annoying um, on camera. Oop, just a tiny bit left there. Yeah, and that's Frankie's little trick. Use the sticker itself. Sticker. We should know about this from... Yes. Car racing. We used to have to put contingency stickers on the car for each event. All right, there's your clean glass blank. The same as, well, I mean the same size as your sharpening stones for the KME, right? Right. Here you go with the six. Well, and then, um, yeah, any of that adhesive. I always use the sticker to kind of get it back off. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can go back over it to hit any spots that you missed. Very good trick. Uh -huh. Again. That does not work. It does, but it's painful <laughs> how long it takes. Yay. And then there you go. She gets German all of a sudden. <laughs> Just go with it, guys. That's what the Frankie does. Okay. Yep. All right, cool. There's our first three lapping films. We'll get the other ones um, off camera. Uh -huh. But that's the public service announcement on the lapping films. Yes. Okay. Add heat. Add heat. Yep. So let's talk a little bit about edge types. Teach us, Burr Bird. There he is. Quack, Burr. Quack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the basic KME kit. Uh, let's just say comparable to other kits out there as far as stone grits, right? This is all you need for a sharp knife, okay? Frankie, you've seen this. I mean, yes. like, it, it really is all you need. In fact, this is all you need mm -hmm. for a sharp knife. And then it or, gets sharper down the way. Yeah, each stone is just more refinement, and technically you can get sharper and sharper, but, um, yeah. And you, you can show off, too. You can get a sharp knife with this one. Frankie, you can get a sharp knife with this one. The beast? 50 grit, okay? Yeah. Let's show that real quick, how, how gritty super, that is. That's super gritty. You gotta paint your nails soon, anyway, don't you? 
You guys hear that? It's just, it is the beast, okay? <laughs> um, the other day I sharpened the tough light with this one. I, I built up a strong burr with this one and then um, kind of chipped that burr off of there. It was sharp at this, okay? But anyway, let's just say you wanna you want that, you know, progression, that really sharp knife, okay? That really um, visually impressive knife. Maybe you can split hair with it, maybe, you know. The mirrory edge? Mirrory edge, there we go, uh -huh. okay? Um, you're going to get a pretty shiny reflective edge with the 1500 grit, but it's not going to be a mirror, okay? Right. Um, here it is. Here's the translucent Arkansas stone. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a cheap upgrade here. I would recommend this one as a, as a cheap next step from the 1500 grit um, through KME. You just got to watch because it's a different thickness, okay? But easy ways to adjust for that. But this one's a cheap upgrade, and it takes it that next step further. It, you start to approach mirror-like... Uh, appearance with this mm. one, okay? Right. Yes. But Frankie, if you want a true mirror edge, what do we need? We need lapping films. Yep. No. Get these out of the way. No, they can stay in. Okay. Move over here. These are the lapping films. There we go. These are what to tell your friends all about. Okay, let's take a look here. 9 micron, 6 micron, 3 micron, 1 micron, 0 0.5, 0 0.1. Jeez. What is a micron? Real quick. Okay, say in an inch of distance, right? How many microns make up that length of distance in an inch? I forget the exact number. Again, I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't look it up. I didn't look it up again. But it's it's over thirty thousand microns that make up one single inch. One single inch worth of distance. Okay? Wow, that's crazy. So this is nine micron. It's a very fine abrasive. But then you're talking point, point one? one. It's sub. I mean, you can't see it under a microscope. You need an extremely high power microscope. Extremely high power. To, to be able to see a particle size like this, okay? That's crazy. Yeah, that's what we're talking. A side note too, this is one of the reasons we like KME. Um, high technology accessories, high quality accessories, mm -hmm. and because they're small, you don't have to pay a ton for them. Well, and I like the color coding too, that's a nice Oh, bring in the too. chart, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice thing with this, with this sharpener. Um, people ask why I went with the sharpener over others, because, um, you only have to do one side at a time, so you only have to buy one stone, mm -hmm. one of yeah, each, nice. right? And and they're fairly minimal, so it, it keeps the cost down, yep. right? But it's still the same high technology. So that's the lapping films. If you want the mirror edge, you need to, you need to, you know, wherever your starting stone is, fifteen hundred. Now here's my question too. I want to ask um, Knife Crazy and Dino and some of the other authorities out there, the users that comment that use the KME. Am I wasting time doing this one if I'm going to go through these? Can I just go from here to here, right? I don't know. Because the grit on the 9 micron is 1800, okay? I'm not sure, because I have been doing this one, then this. So I'm not sure if that's right. a waste of time. All right, Frankie, some mirror edges of ours? Yes. Now, it's bad we're doing this video. These aren't the best examples. <laughs> no. Because they were mirror edges. And now they're not. This yeah, one still is pretty good. Pretty good. The problem is we cut cardboard with them. You've been working with that yeah, one? Yeah, this one I've been using at work. It was a mirror edge the other day. That one's still decent. Yeah, you can this see the This one's probably marks. the best. We'll bring in photos right now. Um, I was talking to Knife Crazy earlier. Mm -hmm. You'll be seeing some of the photos of his sharpening work. Um, well, he's one of the authorities, guys. If you're into KME, you probably already know about Knife Crazy's channel. <laughs> yeah, and watching um, his videos. Yeah, we met him in person. He's awesome. See some of the photos there? I love it because he puts the, the colors in front of it. He kind of taught us that trick. He puts the colorful stuff in front of it and puts the edge on top of it to see oh, the reflection. Oh, yeah, so you can see the reflection. Yeah, you'll see that in the photos, but anyway. Well, a lot of our mirrory edges. That's knife crazy. Yep. A lot of our mirrory, mirrory edges. <laughs> that's a word, you guys. I know. Um, we've actually either like given those knives away or... Um, sold yeah. them. Or sold them. Or, yeah. yeah. Yep. So we don't have a lot of super... Good Mirror examples at the moment. Right yeah, now. actually, we can bring in one photo of the most recent knife, the, um, the oh, Reich. Oh, yeah. The Reich turned out amazing. Well, yeah. you spent a little while on that guy. <laughs> I, spent, I spent like four hours on that knife. Yes. Yeah. You don't need to. That 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 edge was, it needed a really good edge. Yeah. But anyway, that's the lapping films, okay? If you want a mirror edge, this is what you need. Now, let's equate this to, okay, tires oh, in a yes. race car, mm -hmm. okay? All right. This is all you need, right? But if you want to start showing off, and you want that mirror visually impressive edge, this is what you need, okay? Right. Do you need this for a sharp knife? No. Okay, this is showing off. This is just like, yeah, just starting your stuff or whatever you want to say, okay? <laughs> okay, I, I like to equate it to race tires, okay? Because these are these are individual films in here. I forget how many you, they, yes. they come with. I want to say they come with like six or eight or something. I forget what it actually is. But 
they wear out. Yes, they wear out. You will have seen that we replaced them at the beginning of this, okay? Um, you can get a solid eight knives, eight average folding knives in our experience, right? We went to nine, but I probably overdid it, okay? Well, and think about it too, like as race tires, that last run of the race tires, mm -hmm. not the best. Right, you there's start to lose speed. There's an edge that comes, that, there's an edge. A that cliff. You, a cliff, yeah, that you drop off. That you fall off, and you start to, once you, once you fall off that cliff, there's no longer the performance there. Mm -hmm. So, race tires, they're expensive, they wear out quickly, not necessarily in this case, but they wear out quickly, and then you got to replace them, okay? Yes. That's what we're talking about here. These are going to last forever, right? Um, not forever, but long, street long tires. time. <laughs> yes, yes. Street tires. Okay. Good street tires. Not okay. the garbage stuff that comes on cars. <laughs> oh, true, true. That's not the all-purpose tires. <laughs> all season. Yeah, Frankie, that's a whole other topic, though. I know, I know. You guys, Sorry. we know about tires. Yeah. We, have a good, <laughs> we have a good knowledge of tires. Um, let's see. Okay, the other thing, a mirror edge. Do you need a mirror edge? Let's see some discussion yes. about that. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. Why? Because it's pretty. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's pretty, but do you need it to cut but stuff? So, but race tires are pretty, too. <laughs> oh, they are, yeah. Um, they smell, they smell amazing. <laughs> 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 All right, we're getting off track. No, the mirror edge. Do you need a mirror edge? No. I'm going to equate it to cars again. Let's say a fancy set of wheels. Do you need a fancy set of wheels? No. You might really want them. You right. might spend a lot of money on that mirror edge or those wheels, and it may actually hurt the performance of your car. <laughs> but you might not care. This may be all you need. <laughs> Maybe even just somewhere in here, right? But that's the mirror edge. People are still gonna want them for their high-end knives. <laughs> As you bring out a $50 knife. Well, it has, it has a good, this one probably has the best edge to it right uh, now. Of knives that we have right yeah. now, sure. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of talk on these. We got eight films out of them and replaced them. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna start over again with a fresh set. Mm -hmm. I should probably start on an expensive knife, but I'm going to use the Jettison. <laughs> yeah, that will be a nice one to Yeah, It'll be quick because it's 8 CR 13 MOB. Yeah. I'm going to do that one today. But that's the lapping films, you guys. Um, hundred and I want to say it's like $130 for the kit. It's not cheap, guys. This, mm -hmm. this is high technology stuff, right? But, but it's to show off. Yeah, yeah. It's the next step, though. And if you want a mirror edge, it's what you got to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. By the way, I skip stropping altogether when I do these. Mm -hmm. Ron says that you can... Um, you can use the point one strop to finish. I haven't even been doing that. I mean, it's ridiculous at this level here. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of that, Frankie, we were talking to uh, Matt, Knife Crazy. He was telling me, like, he gets a good eight out of his before he mm -hmm. replaces them. And he wouldn't want to use, like, a, a if he gets an expensive sharpening job, right? Right, yeah. He wouldn't want to use, that use last like, one if he's it. on the eighth, if he's on the seventh or eighth uh, knife mm -hmm. on the film. Maybe use it on him. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to necessarily use it on a $500 knife, so I thought yes. that was interesting too. Or him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one might not be in our collection forever. No, I don't think it is. Hint, hint. Okay. All right, guys. Um, thanks a lot for watching, and I think I'm going to get to some sharpening. Sounds good. All Bye. Right. Bye.